Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Today, it's going to be about Joe Biden, Donald Trump, and that judge down in Florida, Eileen Cannon. What's going on with her? So, uh, Joe Biden, Donald Trump, and Eileen Cannon. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Well, the fact is um, that uh, Joe Biden has got his work cut out for him. As insane as Donald Trump is, um, it's going to be up to Joe Biden to cut through all of this. And then uh, Donald Trump himself, I mean, this man is, is showing us, uh, if you didn't think evil wins, uh, and I've said it for years, evil wins all the time, and evil wins big. So, and then along that same, those same lines, uh, Judge Eileen Cannon. I mean, it's so obvious what she's doing, and the Justice Department... You know, she's following, she's coloring inside the lines, just barely. And uh, you certainly want justice to be uh, on the side of the defendant, but she seems to be coloring it really, really, very darkly in heavy uh, favor of Donald Trump. And you just can't believe that if he was some uh, kid on the street, uh, he would get the same treatment. It'd be interesting to look back at some of the cases that she's... Uh, uh, preside over and see uh, what she was like. But anyway, so uh, President Biden, Donald Trump, and Judge Eileen Cannon. But before we do any of that, let's have just a moment, you know, of meditation. You know, my thing about Biden is number one, is his health going to hold out? That's the thing that concerns me the most about him. He looks healthy, um, but you know, at that age, your health can take a turn quickly. So, is his health going to hold out? Joe Biden, will his health hold out for the duration of um, the campaign that he's getting ready to launch? Three cards for that. So, three cards on whether. Uh, Biden's health is going to hold out for the duration of this uh, presidential campaign. Not whether he'll win, just is he going to stay upright? Okay. So we start out stranger on, stranger of fire. Oh darn! I don't remember what this card is defined as. Stranger of fire. Let's leave it here. Maybe it'll come to me. I'm thinking this is like a page, um, or a knight. Let's see what the next card up is. This is Justice. Okay, this is good. So this is Major Arcana, five, six, seven, eight of the Major Arcana, and this is Justice. So is Biden going to stay upright for the remainder of his campaign? We get a strong card with Justice, Stranger of Fire. I have to think this is like a page of fire, but let's keep going. And then uh, the Jester of Gardens. No, this is a page, and this has to be a queen. But you know what? I'm going to take a minute just to, to check. Because why not? You're here. I'm here. Let's take a minute. Stranger of Fire. I don't remember uh, what that is. Stranger of Fire. Major Arcana, Death, Mort. Oh, come on. Stranger of Fire. What are you? Uh, tower. Winds. Fire. Three. I think it's going to be towards the end. Six. Seven, eight, almost there, nine, ten. Jester of Fire is the page. The Stranger of Fire is the knight. So this is strong. Okay, so fire is action plans forward movement. He's the knight of fire, so he's fighting to get those plans done. The justice will prevail. And then here with the page of cups is he's throwing in a compassion. Just, oh no, this is pentacles. Pentacles is, uh, is Gardens is Pentacles. So he's throwing in a, um, a cup full of value. 
very interesting. Will his health uh, stand up? Yes, this doesn't tell me his health won't stand up, but it tells me that he's fighting with that plan, for, for that plan. Okay, he's out there, I'm gonna get this done. And this, his State of the Union address said that too. Justice will prevail. Okay, you got the two umbrellas bouncing things out and you get the sunshine at the top. So justice will prevail. And so I'm asking, will he stay healthy? And then we come out with this gesture of guard. So this is a page of pinnacles. So yeah, he has the value to bring to it. Listen, it's it's a page. It's not a knight. It's not a queen. It's not a king. It's not a hierophant. It's the page. So it's 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 an offer of value. His health will hold out. Um, next one. His health will hold out for the campaign. I'm just going to ask it. We all want to know, is he going to win? Is Biden going to win the presidential election? Is Biden going to win? Three cards. One, two, and three. Is Biden going to win? Interesting. Probably shouldn't ask it this quick, this soon in the race. Queen of Fire. Okay, he's bringing a big, strong plan. Queen of Fire plans. Uh, the Two of Tides. This is um, Tides. I want to say this is, oh yeah, this is Cups, obviously. So Two of Cups. There's a perfect partnership. This has to be him and Camelot. And then the King of Swords. King of Winds. King of Swords. Yeah, Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. He's going to win. He's got a big plan. Queen of Fire. Big plan high rating plan. It's not the king of plans, but it's the, the queen of plans. Uh, he's got the perfect uh, companionship in this two of cups. And then he's got uh, the final card here with this king of swords, which is what the winds are, the king of swords, is that he's got truth, justice, rules, and law. Yeah. He'll win. Okay. Now, we said we do Biden, and now let's do Trump. Well, same thing, right? Is Trump's health going to last him well i guess there's something else though not just his health we want to know if he's going to uh be able to finish running because of the uh judgments against him so we'll do will he finish running his health and um and what the winning looks like so this is going to be wow will he be able to finish running the presidential the race for president. Will he be able to finish running the race for president? Or will legal stuff or something step in and stop him? You know, it could be a lot of things. It could be the legal system, could be his health, could be a sniper, you know, who knows what it could be. But will he finish uh, that race? Uh, temperance. Okay. Finding that perfect balance. This is Major Arcana and it's high up there in the Major Arcana. It's toward the end of that series and uh, so this is the 10 to the 14, you go to 21. So temperance. The key to him finishing is keeping finding that balance. The um, page of um, plans, of wands, of fire. So what happens here, fire is actually plans forward movement. He comes in as just a page, a okay, very weak plan. Finding a, temp, a balance, weak plan, uh, will he finish the race? And then the six of gardens, oh... It's 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 emotional and it's and it's positive, but it's not perfect. I think um, yeah he will he will finish that race. So all of these legal problems are not going to stop him. Um, then uh, that's depressing. Then um, is his health going to hold out? Is his health Donald Trump? Is his health going to hold out for the entirety of that race? That's a little subjective because maybe he doesn't make the entirety of the race, even though it just looks like he would from those cards. But will his health hold out for the entirety of that presidential uh, campaign? Three cards. One, two, and three. Will Trump's health hold out for the entirety of that presidential campaign? He's the star. Wow. The way things, the Hierophant is government. And the Eight of Tides is the Eight of uh, Cups. And this is having to walk away from something of a huge emotional importance. Um, his health. This doesn't tell me that his health is going to have any 
problem, it's the government that's going to give him the problems. So he's the shining star. The government is right in the middle of this uh, situation. And in the end, he's turning away and walking away himself from something of emotional importance. He's not going to win. And then, um, I think that's enough. That says it all. He's not going to win. Okay, let's switch over to Judge Aileen Cannon. Judge Aileen Cannon. Is she is she stalling this case on purpose? Is Judge Aileen Cannon stalling this case in favor of Donald Trump and on purpose? Because that's how it looks to me. Three cards. One, two, three. She's stalling the case on purpose in favor of Trump. The Sun card. Everything's going to come out in the open. The strength card. She's a strong woman. And the Ace of Swords. Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. This is interesting. So, once the Sun is shown on everything, it's going to show her strength. But truth, justice, rules, and law, with a great big ace of that, an ace of swords is what this is, will win in the end. But is she on the side of truth, justice, rules, and law? Two cards. One, two. Is Eileen Cannon on the side of truth, justice, rules, and law? Is she just misguided somehow? Um, star. The Magician. One more card. And the Two of Cups. Wow. <sighs> okay, this just backs up these other ones here. This The star card just says, yeah, she understands that not only is the sun shining, she's the focus of it. Um, not only is there strength, she's showing uh, all the um, plays that she can make. Um, and then uh, truth, the, the Ace of Swords, truth and justice is here. and uh, But then it's, it's supported by a two of cups finding that balance emotional balance between two things i think she thinks she's doing the right thing i think she thinks she's doing the right thing somehow i don't know if that means she's doing the right thing for donald trump or if she's doing the right thing for the country or if she thinks doing the right thing for donald trump is doing the right thing for the country that's a long question to try to sort out and i'm not going to try to get into it right here because I don't know. That's a big, big question. It's going to take a lot of time. But those are the uh, answers to the questions today. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. So this Japaridze tarot is amazing. They're by Nino Japaridze. Now, she's a Georgian artist. Georgia, not the United States. Georgia, Europe. Uh, uh, and um, so these are beautiful. Even the, the packaging is wonderful. It's shiny and glossy. It's a nice, you know, if you gave this as a gift, you'd feel like, wow, that was a really nice gift. The guidebook is so amazing. The text in this guidebook is by someone named Steve Lucas. And uh, his story is interesting. And it kind of goes over that in, in the guidebook, how he came to know her. And uh, he's a fellow a couple of years uh, younger than me, lives in New York. Uh, an art uh, enthusiast and gallery owner, and he happened to meet uh, Nino, as a matter of fact, uh, on a uh, trip to Paris, about 2008, I think it was, where they, uh, he, she was exhibiting her art, which I understand she's been doing for years, I mean, since she was a child, and, um, and so they came to an agreement that she would do uh, some depictions of the major arcana about six months down the road. That was about finished. And he, he talked to her about doing the rest of the cards. That took about another year. So she's probably got two years into the, all of these are full size, whatever full size is for her paintings. And uh, I can imagine that anybody would love having uh, some of these uh, works of art uh, in their home framed. Um, and they certainly exist somewhere. So I like to, to um, Spread these cards out like this so that uh, if you don't look at cards very often, you can get a sense of what a whole pack looks like. And um, and the only difficulty with cards like these, this kind of surrealist art, is that you really need to know uh, what your divination of the uh, Rider Waite system is going to be. So they're beautiful cards, and I love using them.